Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Carrie. Um, if you're new here, thanks for clicking in. Um, I'm going to make bottle charms. I know I keep telling you I make these and I was going to show you how I make them. So I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, I made this one yesterday. Uh, I, was, I did it as a test run to see how well this would work with gluing the flower on. It actually came out pretty well. So we're going to make another one of these and a couple other different other bottle charms um, so I can show you what I do. And then at the end I'll show you some of the other ones I've made, I have already made. Okay? So these bottles come from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, bottles come from Dollar Tree. Um, which they, and they come with the cork. And Dollar Tree actually sells two different kinds of the small ones. They sell this one where it's just the small one with the cork, and then this one where it's the small one with the cork and it already has the little doodad to hook to a necklace or, or a charm on it or whatever. Um, I got from Hobby Lobby, I don't know if you can see this, these little eyelet pieces. Um, and they, I have the silver, I have gold, and I have like that kind of vintage, and I'll show you, I have another one, vintage looking kind of brass color. Um, so that I could add them here, and that way it would match better with some of my charms that I put on here. So what we're going to do, um, is I'm going to attach this hook in here. I use C E6000 on here, and I apologize because it always takes a minute to get that crap out. But I just used it yesterday. I just stick it in. You know, just so I can get a little bit of the glue on there. And you just screw it into the cork. Occasionally, when I get these in here, they're crooked, but for the most part, they're okay. Kind of clear up some of that extra glue, and you're good to go. So let's put that cork aside. Also, put that flower aside. I'm going to put a tissue over here because I'm going to need that later. So for the glitter inside this bottle, this is actually glitter glue. But it is, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is really pretty and it sparkles really nicely out in the sun. Um, I'll try to get a shot of that. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. It's this. This is from Michaels. Um, and it's just really pretty. So I'm just going to open that up. And we just fill the bottle. And then I have to kind of pound it so we can get the glitter down. So I'm sorry if the pounding is loud. I'm trying to do this as far as I away from my microphone as possible. And then just keep filling. I think I might have mentioned this before when making these, is that the thicker the uh, substance you're putting in here, the harder your time you're going to have getting it in there. And there's air bubbles in here. The nice thing about this is you can't really see them too badly, and you can always find where the worst ones are and cover it with the flower. So, you know, there's always ways to cover up stuff you don't want showing on your projects, usually. Pretty good. I'm going to take a Q-tip. I'm just going to swab out the inside of this bottle and around the edge. Sorry, I'm still adjusting to the new camera uh, rig. So if I move around weird, I do apologize. Now, to put the cork in, we're also going to use E6000. I use a Q-tip. You'd be surprised how handy Q-tips are in the craft room. Those of you who are crafters, you probably already know that, but if you're an aspiring crafter, or you're just beginning and you want tips on what's good and what's not good to have in your craft room, Q-tips. Q-tips are fantastic for your craft room. We're just going to smear the glue around the cork. You don't need too much, just enough to keep that sealed because we don't want this to pop out. I'm just going to push that in. Nice and good. Boom. Now for the flower. 
think we're gonna put here. I use used on that one I used art glitter glue. Spin it around. I'm just push that on there like that. And then for the charm, let's put this cap back on. So I, I sealed all of them with the E6000, particularly ones that are using um, more of a liquidy in t inside. Um, I have C ones I make that have seashells and sand in it, um, which I'll show you later. That those have to be sealed with. Uh, with the E6000 because I use Elmer's clear glue dyed blue in there and it doesn't solidify so if that were to pop open you would, you would be able to pour it out. This you couldn't really pour out, you have to shake it out with a stick but the Elmer's glue it would pour out. Generally I wait for the glue to be dry but for video purposes we're just going to do this charm now. Hmm. I got all these charms off Amazon. Sometimes they still have little bits of metal left in the hole. Put your lobster claps on, and then you put this through the bottle. Pull it shut. Do try not to put your charm on upside down, like I just did. An easy fix, but still. There we go. Now I have two of these little charms. They turned out really cute. So I'm going to set this one aside for drying. And that one can go back over there with the others. And for the next one, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's just going to be a little keychain. Just to show you what you can do with these bottles. That's right, you know, all these pieces over that components that go with this. And we're just going to fill the bottle with glitter. So these little these little things are I guess they're cupcake holders. They're silicone. They came from Dollar Tree Valentine's Day section. But I put the bottles in here when I'm filling them with glitter, so we don't end up with glitter all over the place. I think this glitter also came from Dollar Tree. I'm not entirely sure. The funnels, I think, came from um, Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which one. One of those. Yeah, so much for not getting better everywhere. <laughs> You just you can't help that. You use glitter and you think, oh, I'm I'm gonna succeed at not getting everywhere. No, you're not. No, you are not. Okay, so let's set that aside. This is that ring I was telling you about that has that kind of like this color here. So let's attach that. The blue. I just realized I've got E6000 all over my desk now. is a new craft mat. I told myself when I sat down to film this, I was like, I'm going to put something here to glue over it. Yeah, I didn't do that. I forgot. Here's the thing.
thing, guys. I have a glue mat right here, two feet from me. How about we use that? Yeah, let's use that. I end up with glue. I know about you other crafters, people who just use glue in general. You end up with more of it on you than on whatever it is you were trying to glue, because I always do. of excess glue. So there's that. And what we're going to do with the lobster claws are a lot better. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. I did not make one of these beforehand. So we are discovering together Jump rings. Oh, we're good. Okay. So let me see. Let's see what we can do with that. I made this a bit of a bigger ring, a bigger key. go guys. Little keychain with a glitter bottle and a key on it. This is like the versatility of, of these. The glitter's pretty. Let's set that aside. Now, for this next one that we're going to do, we're going to use glitter, but we're going to make a glitter mixture. And when I do that, I use one of these to mix all my glitter in. I'm going to need this. make a galaxy looking thing. So here's our tiny bottle. And all the various glitter we're going to use. the glue. <laughs>
Did you guys see that? I almost screwed this into the wrong side. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put a few more stars in the bottle. exactly fit you kind of have to bend them a little bit oh. cool. um, this is what I was using for some of my bigger bottles to make um, some stuff like you know galaxy looking stuff so we're gonna add some of this blue this is pretty fine powder some purple too much purple. No shade of blue. And we're going to add a little bit of gold. I thought they'd be kind of fun. Just floating around there. These came from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. So I think I'm going to put touch more purple and a touch more of this what do you guys think that looks like galaxy? It looks like galaxy let's see I don't know if that's enough to fill the bottle but even just a little would probably be fine See. So we fill the bottle too much, then we won't. See the stars in there. So I think what I'll do is put a few more stars because we can't actually see stars. This happens a lot. pretty much got lost in there. I think I might have an idea to kind of spruce that up. Give me one second to grab something, I'll be right back. I got these little bitty stars at uh, Target, of all places. So let's see what happens when we add these. Whoop, I didn't want to add that many. <laughs> Stuff comes out fast, you know. See what we get there. The problem I have with this is that I don't get. And you can see the gold stars. Really, I don't like those 
penguin just freaking disappeared in there. You know that, guys? I'm afraid if I put any of the big one in there, I'm just going to disappear into that powder again. So I think we're going to use these guys back in there. I'm going to try to add a little bit more of these. I was wondering why it like, doesn't look like it's filling up in there. We're going to have stars all over my room for days now and glitter. Well, it doesn't look too bad. You can at least see the stars. Could just one that did one that was just stars, which we could do as well. All right, time to do our Q-tip. thinking about one of these days and get my sister over here to, to film for me. Having her film me with the cleanup. So you can kind of see what the cleanup, I don't know if any crafters have done that, I'm sure they have. But the cleanup looks like when we're done filming because you know, we make it look like, you know, that's it, everything's put away. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I actually, despite the fact that the large stars didn't get seen as I hoped they would, kind of like this one problem when you make crafts and you want to sell them is half the time you end up liking what you've made. So then you end up owning everything that you've made rather than selling it because you just like everything you made so much. my best efforts <laughs> not to have that thing be upside down it's upside down there galaxy that didn't turn out too bad, really. Um, it has a little planet charm on it. So. Okay, so that's all the ones I'm making for now. But let me show you. Uh, you saw the keychain and a little flower guy. And then these are the C ones. Here you can see the. I don't know if you can see the seashells, and then I've got one has a seashell charm, I've got a second one here with a starfish. The only thing about these is that, I may not have this issue here, but since the glue does not solidify like resin would do, if this stays on its side, everything does in fact shift. And I made this one recently. <laughs> this one has teeny weeny little, looks like little diamonds, little glass, not, no, not diamonds, there's little tiny little glass in the shape of diamonds. <laughs> and some pearl beads, and then 
the hearts that are in here, I don't know if you can see these hearts or not, but the hearts that are in here are um, paper. I had this really nice red paper that almost looked velvety, and I have a die cut that cuts a heart trim, so the little heart pieces that fell out to make the heart trim, I kept to put in these bottles. And then this one here, oh, I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. Drew the little heart on there with gold uh, marker pen, and then these little rainbow flakes or rainbow glass flakes um, also came from Hobby Lobby. The the little gemstones came from Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby actually has all kinds of stuff for making glass bottles and doing resin, which is awesome because Michaels and Joann's does not. I don't know about anyone else, but I find that Michaels, or at least my Michaels, is lacking. Um, I don't like it. So and this has a charm that says love. This one has a key. But that's that. Um, I am going to try and take some better pictures. Oh, I have one more in here. This is, these are actually <laughs> pieces of glass. I think they are pieces of glass or they're, um, no, they're work brain. Fluorite. Um, but I took the lighter blue ones out and put them in here because I thought it looked like sea glass. And I have a start there, so it's just like a little bit of sea glass in the bottle. So that's that. And you've seen this one. This is the one I made when I made the Pride projects. It says love on it with the rainbow beads. But that's it. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If there's something that I was trying to show you you couldn't see well and you, you're like, I want to see it again, leave me a comment and I'll try to do a better job you know, once I see how these videos come out each time. Because like I said, I, this is a new rig, so I'm still learning. And I'll try to show you better. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.